Good afternoon, Nick. Um, just tell us from your standpoint what the mood in France is about racing closing down, about the country closing down, and about the more the more stringent measures that that you've had to to undertake. Um, I would say that there was a real change uh, earlier this week um, in the whole country, and, and of course within the, the racing community. Um, well, because we, we had to take the decision to, um, to, to stop racing for, for one month. Um, I think people are really uh, now understanding how serious uh, the pandemic is and how fast it is growing and the effect it has in the, um, in the hospitals, in the intensive care units, um, so I see more and more the, the, the people following more strictly the, the, the rules that have been set by the government in terms of staying at home and, 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 and really take care. You are, you are the best person to speak on this right this minute because during this programme we've been exploring how horses are looked after if we, get, if we in Britain get to the stage where you are at in France. You are at a stage of total lockdown. We are sort of 75% of the way there. How are you looking after your, your workforce and particularly your horses at the moment? Well, um, for the moment, um, the, 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 the training uh, centres are, are, are working like normally and, and the, the, the stable uh, staff can 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 go and and and, and work as uh, as normal and, and take care of the horses. Of course, that's an area of concern because every day is changing, like every day. Um, so we we have to to make sure that um, within these uh, restrictions, um, the the workforce is still uh, allowed and entitled to uh, to to go and and work and and take care of the horses. So. We are not taking it for, for granted for, for the weeks to come. I think that's uh, something we, we need to monitor very, very closely and, and make sure that locally um, it is well uh, respected by, uh, by the police. And if not, uh, that, that we will have to, to speak to local authorities uh, and, and, of course, the Ministry of uh, Agriculture. And you gave a, a glimmer of hope earlier in the week that, that there may be racing that target date at the back end of April in, in France it, and that raised an eyebrow or two here. It, in what way is that is that realistic? Well it's very hard to say. Um, um, what we hear at the moment is that the, um, the peak of the pandemic should happen in France at the end of March so we are not that far from it. Yeah. What we don't quite know is what is what is it going to look like uh, when 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 we see the the curve really flattening and 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 have this uh, this peak behind us? Um, we remain hopeful that uh, things can get better uh, in the second half of, of April. Uh, that was a sort of date set by the government in terms of uh, closing of all the bars and restaurants. So at the moment, nothing says that uh, it cannot reopen in the second half of, of April and that maybe we can go back to, to a normal life slowly, uh, of course, because it will not um, be exactly the same uh, from, from day one. Uh, but of course, there is no certainty and, and, uh, and we have to, to have in mind some uh, maybe less favorable scenarios uh, like um, maybe have a, a light going back to, to, to normal or sort of, yeah. uh, maybe early May or mid-May, uh, and, 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 and then get prepared for, for any scenario. And, and finally, Olivier, how do you view the action taken by Britain and, and Ireland in, in a racing context? Well, it, I mean, it's very hard to... Um, uh, to, 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 to judge what is being done elsewhere because it's very much dependent on what's going on in the country. It's not so easy to, to really know what's going on in your own country, so I, I would really not uh, feel to, um, um, to express any opinion on, on, on the decisions made in England and, and in Ireland, knowing that, of course, they have taken some, some different routes. Uh, what I can tell you is that in France, we, we really felt that 
keep ra- keep racing even behind closed doors was getting um, uh, really like almost impossible. Um, when you see the congestion that you have in the intensive care units and hospitals, really you wouldn't like to send a, an injured, a severely injured jockey uh, to one of these hospitals. Uh, when you ask, ask the whole country to, to stay at home and stay confined, how can you explain that you are sending horses all across the country to, uh, to, to, to keep racing and gather, even behind closed doors, a minimum of 300 people? So we thought that it, I mean, we have no other choice that make this, uh, this tough decision and, uh, and then work hard to, um, to try and, uh, and, and reduce as much as possible the impact of this uh, decision to, to stop racing for one month. And have the government packages announced in, in France satisfied you that your, that your workforce are going to be OK for the foreseeable future? To be fair, I mean, we, we, we don't have um, um, yet some, 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 some feedback. And uh, what, we, what we've been doing in the last week uh, uh, in terms of um, discussion and negotiations with the Ministry of Agriculture, for instance, was to, to keep the breeding season going, uh, going forward because uh, at the moment we, 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 we feared that uh, it would uh, have to be, uh, uh, to be stopped. Uh, so we, we had some pretty tough negotiations with them to, um, to, to convince that following some very strict protocols we, we, we were in a position to, 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 um, to pursue this breeding season, which is, of course, very, very important for, for the industry. Olivier, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome, Nick. Best of luck to, to you all. And you, and stay safe and, and healthy, and, and best of luck to, to everyone in, involved in keeping racing going in France. Olivier Delois, Chief Executive of, of France Gallo. Subscribe to Racing TV to be notified when more Luck on Sunday videos are appearing online. And don't forget to join me for the show every Sunday morning from 9 o'clock with the best guests.